Hello and welcome to my loft and today's video is all about how I control my trains and some of the things I will be showing you today you will probably never seen before and almost no one else in the world does. Anyway, do stay tuned to find out. This is track 6 to 13, a mixture of 1970s and 2020 technology back to the 1970s, 80s controllers for tracks 1 to 4 and the 1970s tucked at the back. Because everything was built on the floor, this is where most, well, all the controllers are. This is what the duet controllers look like. On the uh, picture, you can see the advantages of these trains. These are the modern pulse width modulated controllers, which has other advantages uh, and I deliberately went for the old controllers because they allowed fast running and long trains. Now let's look at a duet controller. Not bad for pulling out, no suffering on this high speed train. This is myself, just when I want to have a quick play, getting at seven tracks going fairly quickly. Obviously here I'm not doing them at realistic accelerations, just getting everything going so you can see what fun playing trains is. Here is the top track. These use the pulse width modulated controllers. But to control the top track, this is how we control them. I'm about to start the clan class with 14 coaches, big coaches. Let's see how good I am with my toe. Not bad. All of these, of course, are DC. I have no DCC at all. It pulls away nicely. I have found 14 coaches is actually the maximum I can do without the um, And this is me getting all of the top five circuits going quite quickly. It's nice to get them going whilst looking at them. Since this top level is set in 1960, summer, August, some of the trains are very long because they are holiday specials. A Saturday, of course, and everyone's going on holiday. And so trains were particularly long then. Uh, and this new uh, bit of the video is I have been quite busy putting new ballast down because I have foam for the underlay, underneath the track, the track bed, which doesn't look very realistic, but has the advantage when you're running so many trains, so long trains, you need it to keep the noise down. So here I am putting a mixture of water and PVC, and you can see this is where the boiler is, and because this section removes, it's difficult to put ballast down. This is the picture before, and this is after, and you can see I've painted in between just to make it look like soot and coal dust. 
I think it looks not too bad for me. I hope you enjoyed that and you can see running model trains is such a lot of fun. See you another time. Bye.